In this episode, we're going to take a look at the Splinterlands mobile experience. This has been a focal point for the Splinterlands development team since the mobile app went end of life and recently has been getting some pretty solid reviews. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. If you like this kind of content, uh, Splinterlands, Web3, Hive Blockchain gaming type content, please like and subscribe. Pass it around to your friends if they enjoy it as well. I'd appreciate it. Okay, with that said, let's dive right in. Um, over the last several months, or probably the better part of six to eight months, we've heard a lot of discussion in town halls about the work the team has been putting into the mobile experience. Now, if you haven't been around for that long, uh, Splinterlands used to have a mobile app, okay? But the experience in the mobile app was shoddy. Uh, it didn't work too well. When I first started playing, I, I tried it out a few times. Uh, it left. It just left me feeling that I couldn't really play the game in the mobile app. So after those few times, I just did. A, uh, I stopped playing it. So as time went along, at a certain point, they decided that they were going to end of life the mobile app instead of supporting it. Um, it was a business decision by the company. Um, so basically, instead of improving the app, they decided to throw their R and D into. Um, first of all, end of life that app, and then throw their R and D into developing for the mobile experience inside a browser. Okay, so with that said, what we see here is my phone and it is inside the Hive Keychain browser, which is what I do all of my Hive stuff in on mobile. Now, right off the bat, uh, I'm jumping into this and today will have been the first time I've logged into Splinterlands in the browser on my phone in quite a long time. I'm not one that plays Splinterlands um, on my phone. I usually play it on my PC or laptop when I have them available um, due to space. You know, my eyes, uh, I'm older, my eyes are not what they used to be. And frankly, up until about, I don't know, maybe uh, they started, uh, up until they started talking about uh, actively developing uh, and improving uh, their app uh, within the mobile browser, uh, I had tried it a few times and it just, uh, I didn't have a good experience. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. And we're going to take a look from two different angles. First of all, this is the landing page when you go to Splinterlands and you can see it like that. But if you go horizontally, you can go like this and see it uh, uh, get a, a little bit more going on there, but it takes more scrolling. So. Um, just going to scroll down through here. I mean, it's the landing page. They have been working on this over the last year to make it better, more concise, updated it, uh, have links to Modern and Wild there showing some tournaments. This is nice, uh, showing a tournament for new users so they can get to the idea of jumping into that. Um, I'm going back to vertically just so we can go through this a little bit faster. They've got a good description of the game. Um, everything's loading. I mean, I'm not going to go through this 100%, but everything's loading nice. The graphics look nice, uh, so I don't see any issues with the landing page. Um, and I'm not going to go through everything, but let's go ahead and let's just take a look at the market um, because this would be another uh, place where you might want to go and check out some cards for sale. Um, that is vertically, uh, and we're having some loading issues there, graphics loading issues. Um, if you go horizontally, uh, it lar enlarges them. Um, and it would take a lot of scrolling. Uh, I do see that they do have a fair amount of filters that you can go in here and filter by. Let's go ahead and filter by rarity. And uh, let's just say max level. Okay, so we got the rarest up top. Um, so, I mean, this, this seems to be a lot uh, better than what it was. It's easier to go in and filter. Uh, it looks like I'm having some graphics loading issues, um, but it's not necessarily locking up the screen or anything. I can go back and forth. 
I can select into the spirit of the forest, which I ha wish I had, um, and go back to the market. That's interesting. So let's go ahead and go over to another item. Uh, let's go and just check out the battles, you know. So uh, we here are here on Modern, um, and I don't usually play Modern, but I played a battle, a couple battles previous to doing this video because I was just taking a look at what it would look like uh, to play a battle on mobile because I'm not used to it. Um, and like I said previously, uh, I did not have a really great experience. Um, so usually Archmage plays my account in wild. And as you can see, it's been doing its thing here. Um, but let's go back to modern and let's just play a match and check out what it looks like both in I'm going to try to take a look at it vertically and horizontally which might be maybe we'll do one match vertically and then do one match horizontally that might work uh, okay so let's go ahead and hit battle and check it out uh, let's see here okay we've got blood and sunder uh, I'm able to tap on that. I got 16 mana, active elements, any of the elements, since I'm down in bronze. Um, all units gain corrosive ward, so I don't want to rely upon poison. Let's just go in here with something easy. Let's do a Kelia. Uh, I don't have too much mana to spend. Uh, I always like my Pelicor Bandit. Um, Let's scroll down my low mana tank I like to use is that so uh, another thing I want to check out can you I can uh, grab that and and change my card slots so that makes it easy you don't have to bail out of all your car cards to reorganize them let's go in with a Musa Selene um, let's see here I only got two mana left so that's another thing I can go ahead and click there and select uh, that filter, which is nice. Let's go ahead and throw Venator uh, Kinjo in the back and that uses my mana up. So let's check it out. OK, so here is the battle. And one thing I noticed earlier is you get it fully on the screen vertically but you have to scroll over and half the screen does not have the graphics so I don't know whether that's a problem maybe I'm doing it wrong but um, I did notice that so let's go ahead and let's see here uh, I cannot I'm trying to pinch and zoom I cannot pinch and zoom in on the screen so let's go ahead and just uh, watch the match and once again this next match we'll do and we'll do it vertic uh, horizontally Okay, let's see. Let's see if I made a good choice. Looks like I, I won this one. Of course, I have much higher level cards, so uh, I didn't expect not to really uh, win that. So, okay. So we can go and we can close. So um, I will mention at this point that uh, earlier I ran into a redirect issue. A redirect is when <clears throat> you go to a, a website uh, in your browser and you click on a button and you see in the browser uh, URL line that it redirects you to a different website. Um, I had an issue in the uh, while playing this game where it continually, it looked like it was hitting a redirect to each one of the URLs, subset URLs for this game. It's like they were all Splinterlands URLs, but it was going from one page to another to another within the game. And it wasn't trying to load the pages, but it was I saw what the browser was doing. So either way, if that happens, I'll leave it in the video, but I hope it doesn't. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around and we are going to go horizontal and do the same thing. And I, I, I had a better experience this way, but it ends up being scrolling a little bit more. So let's check this out. I have to scroll down a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit battle. Okay, so we've got 42 mana. And once again, I can I can tap on that uh, rules of combat and see that that's explosive weaponry. All monsters have the blast capability or ability. So let's go ahead and create. Um, obviously, the icons are much bigger. Um, why am I not see, see the? 
I'm trying to tap out of that and it's the cards are blocked by the mana symbol uh, let's, let's go upright and then go back down and yeah it's I'm just trying to select I don't know see see I can't I can't play like this it's it's completely blocked uh, maybe it's not meant to be played in horizontal uh, just so I can get my hand in let's go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and go in with an obsidian uh, I've got 42 mana so I'm pretty decent um, let's go ahead and try to see once again I'm, I'm trying to go back to horizontal and I just can't select any cards um, so I don't know what's going on there so let's go back to vertical uh, I'm going to use my filters at the bottom and I'm going to select magic uh, I always like my goblin psychic regal periton um, I am going to throw my mycelic slip spawn up front drag him up there reposition I've got less than a minute left have to be quick about this so. Yeah, that's no good. Let's throw Venka the Vile in there. And... I'm not going to make it. I'm not practice. I don't know exactly uh, what to pick in under situations, but um, once you get to the actual match here, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it sideways again. So it does give you more real estate once your hand is picked, but once again, you can't see everything on the same screen for me. Um, if you have some tips on this and play on mobile a lot, let me know in the comments. Um, yes, and I know this was not a great hand pick, but uh, let's go ahead and watch the match. Let's see what happens. I'm used to playing in wild and um, slightly different card selections I have available, obviously, but. Uh, So it is nicer when you're watching it back. It's just uh, for some reason I just could not uh, pick cards in horizontal. And obviously since my cards are way over a uh, higher level than this guy's, uh, um, my less than stellar uh, hand choice uh, is won by just having stronger cards. So you can see there also that uh, uh, in bronze, I made uh, 0.59 SPS and 35 glint on that. So, okay. So, kind of uh, round this out. This was not meant to be all inclusive or anything. I just wanted to jump in here and take a look because there have been a lot of people reporting lately that the um, the mobile experience has gotten a lot better. In fact, the other day my brother uh, texted me. He's like, oh, you got to check out the mobile experience. It's got so much better. Uh, he was out on vacation and he's playing, uh, playing Splinterlands on his phone and he was enjoying it. So that's a 180 degree turnaround from where we were, you know, six, eight months ago. Um, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and take one further look. Well, I was really interested in seeing what the land screen looked like on mobile on the phone because I have not looked at it quite a while. So you can see right there, we can scroll around in vertical, horizontal, 
we're going to have a little bit more room there, but um, same idea. You're not going to get the full map. Oh, you can. I'm trying to pinch to zoom. So you can pinch down and it goes down, but then when you release, it, it, it rubber bands back. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at one of my areas here. This is the actual page scroller on the right. Um, the page, um, the UI, just the interface takes up so much room that you can hardly see any of the screen here. Um, like I said, if, if, you have, if you use this frequently and you have some tips, let me know. Uh, it looks like I can pinch and zoom down a little bit, but the UI still takes up a lot of the page. Um, I think, yeah, I, I think on land, the vertical is the way to go because uh, you get a lot more uh, here on the page. Um, you see all the uh, applicable things you would want to get to, your DEC stake, to the grain that you have in the region, um, the um, research you have in the region as well. Uh, so looks like everything is available to work with. Let's take a look at, let's just do this. Uh, this would be my usual like, hey, I need to go in and claim my grain on a uh, daily or every other day or <laughs> how often I remember to do it basis. Um, so we can go in and see all my productivity and everything. Uh, it looks like down here you'd have to scroll over. Let's look at it. Wow, that got big. You can make it smaller. A lot of stuff squished in together. Um, so it's readable, but it's very, it's very squished in. But in this view, you can pinch and zoom. So that's a nice thing. So it looks like I can get into everything. So. Well, thanks for joining me for a quick look at uh, what the mobile experience in Splinterlands looks like now. I would say that I probably played about, I played around with it for about an hour before doing this video, and then this video took about an hour. So I think my general opinion is it looks a lot nicer. I think the interface is cleaner, um, things to seem to work better. If I had to play uh, matches uh, when I was out and about, like on vacation or something or other, I think I could do it more easily now than what I have had to in the past. In the past, my general idea was stay away from the mobile experience. I just couldn't deal with it. I'll wait until I get home or um, I'll bring, in fact, a lot of times on vacations, I'd bring a laptop specifically to be able to interface with not just Splinterlands, but the other Hive games that I play as well. So um, kudos out to the team for the work they've done on that. And it does appear that uh, everything's looking a lot nicer. And um, I've heard a lot of people report on their various YouTube videos and just people talking at the uh, at my uh, weekly uh, live stream. If you wanna stop by, we have a live stream Saturday mornings at 11.30 Eastern time. Uh, just talking about all things Splinterlands and other Hive games as well. But uh, people have mentioned that as well, that the uh, that the mobile experience has got better. So I just want to take a look at it. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And I will see you in the mobile experience of Splinterlands. Mm -hmm.